Hi friends, I just wanted to give you a garden update. It's been a while, it's been so hot, and now the kids are in um, theater camp during the day, so I have more time to walk through the garden and show you everything that's going on. Really good things. Starting out here, I planted a Tuscacora crepe myrtle, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I got this locally from a place in Clarksboro, New Jersey called Platts. I've been shopping there my whole life, so I think it's gonna be a gorgeous tree here. You can see some of the pretty blooms right now. This will get like 30 feet tall and I'll make sure I keep it limbed up. It's gonna be beautiful here and I can't wait for it to start to canopy and get really big and beautiful. Makes me happy. More trees on the agenda, period. I just, I'm, I wanna plant all the trees. <laughs> so I have a really, really big change. I can't hide it from you, so here it is. Oh, I'm so happy to show you guys my doors. You know that this has been something that we've been working on for a long time. Something I've been talking about for quite literally years, even before you guys heard me talking about it. I've been talking about it, but look how wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's such a wonderful change and I just could not be more happy with it. Um, thanks to Mark for a tremendous amount of work that he has put in. Uh, it's a long story, so I won't get into all the details, but we definitely had road bumps and, and problems. We wanted to DIY the whole thing, uh, but it ended up being really not very cost effective to do the doors. Mark completed almost one whole door, but it was taking him hours and hours and hours after working all day and then a lot of money too to get it the way we wanted it to be so we did end up finding a company which was really hard to do because people want to sell you a whole new shed and do not want to sell you just doors but we found a company shed repair inc is the place i'll put a link below they are in pennsylvania i highly recommend them they did an outstanding job they can do any type of custom door you would like for your shed and it just, um, it just looks terrific. I could not have hoped for anything better. So you may remember we had giant braces coming out on either side, great big beams that I was always trying to camouflage and disguise, not very well, but I did my best. Um, I, I imagine, I mean, they were here when I moved in, I imagine that the shed maybe started to rack or lean a bit. So they put these temporary braces up um to circumvent that but it never looked right it always was like is what what is this what are these what is this for is this shed gonna fall on me <laughs> oh my god so it always really really bothered me and we did tons of research Mark has now put uh, very sizable, secure beams inside of the shed and has bolted them to the concrete floor. When we moved in, the floor was dirt, uh, had concrete floor poured, um, because like I said, this was a shed when first moved in that I got the novel idea to turn into a one car garage. It made no sense. I won't even get into it. I've been down that road before, but anyway, so now it's securely braced inside and I'm, I'm just um, so relieved to not see that obstruction. It just opens everything up. It makes everything look and feel so much better. We feel better knowing that this is really braced in properly and, um, and it looks good too. So in addition to removing those beams, Mark also framed, he framed the whole front, did an outstanding job. We had our fingers crossed that when these shed doors arrived, we would be able to fit them in easily because, you know, he framed this while the doors were being made. We gave them the exact measurements and everything, but you know, there's always that chance that there might be something that needs to be shimmed or shimmied or <laughs> what have you. When they fit in perfectly, it was just like, Oh, biggest sigh of relief because we had a lot, a lot of uh, pitfalls along the way getting to this place. So that was just really a relief. 
Um, they went in really easily. The company made it really easy for us to install them by pre-drilling holes and making everything just really terrific. So we hung the doors, we painted the front, added new um, a new front to it. This is new wood on the front because again, we had to make it smaller, right? For the smaller doors, which are still quite large. That was something important to me. I wanted to be able to open two large doors in case we did ever have to have a large piece of equipment or something in and out of here. I did not want to have it be just a single door. So it's just, I look at it still and I think I can't believe it. <laughs> I am. I'm like, just I'm just so happy so there's still a lot more to do we have to add trim we need to touch up some paint um, we added really nice little uh, coach lamps on the side there very colonial look which I love um, still need to paint the inside of the doors we got the inside finished in like a beadboard so you know it's not as decorative as the outside would be but it is more decorative than a standard inside of a shed door would be and it's really attractive with beadboard paneling inside um yeah i'm really happy about it we're going to touch up some paint up here and put a little bit more trim mark is actually working on a little eyebrow pergola type situation um that we're going to probably put along the top here so i can grow my roses and put my roses back in here again and get that going because i really do miss having them and um can't wait to get the roses back in here but look at this this openness it's like night and day it is it is just just so wonderful and i've got it open here so i can walk this way and i'm not trapped like i used to be but let me show you uh another thing that mark did so my dad i told you my dad loves to build my whole life growing up my dad used to build things um um, he put an addition on our house. He's just, he's just good like that. Well, a lot of the things that he would make always had hearts cut out on them. So I told Mark, you know, I think it would be really sweet to have some shutters with some hearts cut out on it. It would really remind me of my mom and dad and, you know, just that whole kind of feeling. And look what he did. It took him only a couple of hours to make these and he carved the hearts out and we reused the hardware from the previous shutters that were there. Of course, they're not functional, they're purely decoration, but I absolutely love them. I look at them and I just, I get like the warm and fuzzy feelings, you know? This window swings open, so we are gonna work on getting some kind of a hinge system. It actually pulls up, so not like swinging to the side, but it opens outward. But just look at how the fresh paint the light color paint because this was like a mucky tan color um, before. Not my preference, but it just ended up being that. And it was originally red when I moved in, like a barn red color. But I love the way the potting bench kind of pops out. All the plants pop out and look so pretty. I may or may not put some kind of trellises against the wall. I don't know. I'm just enjoying it for right now. You know, you, I'm just kind of savoring the moment and appreciating how far that this has come. Wow, that was loud. I'm just sort of appreciating how far this has come uh, this year. And I mean, last year, we had just built the raised beds here in this area last uh, April, we started working on it. And now, you know, it's, it's a full on, it's a, it's a full on um, kitchen garden now. It's amazing to me. Brought the uh, orange out, brought the lemon out because if the citrus are in too much heat, they almost go into a dormant state and it was brutal hot in the greenhouse. So I brought them out here. I've got broccoli, I've got um, some cut flowers, some marigolds, strawberries, peppers, eggplants, tomatoes. Uh, I did just plant a cucumber um, recently and got these trellises and I really like the bamboo. I think they're really pretty. And then along the inside of the fence, I've got my dahlias coming up. They're, they're doing really good. No blooms yet. It's a bit early. My zinnias are about to bloom, some cosmos, and you can see the echinacea has been blooming for a while here. Looking good. This new area, I just, I really, really love it. I think it looks so, so good. And you can see how the plants are doing 
in front of the fence. Everything has really filled in. My favorite are these zinnias. I planted these from seed. I told you in the video, wait till you see how big they get in the one where I showed you guys the picket fence and look how big and beautiful they are. Such a beautiful front of the border zinnia. Those are profusion, double white. I grow those from seed under grow lights. Um, you could direct sow them too. I just want them and I know that um, if I start them under grow lights, I'm guaranteed to have some plants uh, rather than direct sowing and just hoping for the best. So I, that's why I do that with these because I, I know I want them. Um, and I get those from Park Seed, those seeds. But things are looking so pretty. We've got some trim to do on the sides. Just, you know, compared to how it was, if it was like this forever, I would be happy even without the touch-ups or anything. Um, the knot garden is looking so pretty. I kept it very simple this year. It's just the tick seed and the salvia. So it's all blue and yellow in here. I had put some geraniums that I started from seed in here and they were just taking so darn long that I ended up uh, plucking them out because they just were not putting on it. You can see one of them. I did leave one. Look, they're so tiny. They're not doing anything. <laughs> they just were not growing. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I love the blue and yellow and these come back for me every year. So I really love it. I would like to get some more spring blooming plants in here because the only thing was there was such a lag between, you know, the seasons and this was bare for a while as, as the salvia and the tick seed were filling in. But it's looking good. It is looking good. Still working on this side. I just, I struggle with this side. I don't know. Eventually I'll figure it out. But until then, I've got a lot of other beautiful things to look at and to keep me busy and occupied. So that's my update. I'm really excited to now move forward from this. And when the temperatures cool down, probably in the fall, we'll work on the inside. Um, this space is never gonna be like a, like a, uh, I don't know, like a she shed, I guess you would say, no. It's gonna be a multifunctional space for the family. It's gonna be kids' bikes, you know, my stuff, Mark's woodworking stuff and his, you know, all of his tools and things like that. So it's gonna be um, a space we can all enjoy, which I think is important. Anyway, that's that. Now I'm getting hot, so I'm probably gonna go inside, but what a difference, huh? It looks so good. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys are all keeping cool and enjoying the garden and I will be back soon, sooner rather than later, because now I have a little bit more time. All right, I hope you're all doing great. See you soon.